everything that I need to succeed is in me. And anything that I put my mind to and that I want to do, I deserve that. However you feel about my boundary because you kept disrespecting me is how you feel about it because I don't want to feel uncomfortable in my own body and continuously betray myself. Hey YouTube, welcome and welcome back to my channel. December is here. I absolutely love the holidays and 2024 is right around the corner. As y'all can see, I'm outside. I was just on a little walk and I wanted to come on here and share some of the personal things that I've learned in 2023 so you can take them with you into 2024, okay? If you are new, make sure to like, comment, and maybe subscribe. I don't like telling y'all to subscribe, but I think I have to tell y'all, so make sure that y'all subscribe. So the first thing I personally learned was to trust myself and to choose myself every single time no matter what i found out the hard way that when i feel that something is off a place is off or i don't feel right around certain people places or things i don't have to find out why i feel that way energy does not lie the energy we feel most of the time is from our intuition and that's our body trying to signal to us there's something wrong with where we are there's something wrong with the people that we're hanging around we don't have to stick around to find out why we feel uneasy and uncomfortable around certain people places or things and most of the time when we feel that way it's because we probably missed or ignored some red flags that showed us why we feel the way we feel around these people places or things no matter who it is how long you've been around how long you've lived in a certain place if it's not serving you anymore it's okay for you to let those things go because at the end of the day if you're trying to hold on to people places and things that do not serve you you're going to continue to stunt your own growth when you start trusting yourself and you start choosing yourself protecting your peace and protecting your energy you start to show yourself self-love and self-respect you can't ever expect anybody to show you love or show you respect if you can't even do that for yourself it's important for you to start choosing yourself in the smallest thing recently had a situation where i had to choose myself there was a friend that i had we had been close we grew up together and turns out they wanted to use me make me feel bad about myself and as much as i love them and as much as it breaks my heart to have to let them go i have to do it for me because if you're not willing to grow with me if you're not willing to commit to growing and being better then I can't force you to I have to accept that I am where I am and I know where I'm trying to go and other people are where they are if they're not willing to change then you have to leave them where they are it's not because I hate you it's not because I'm bitter it's not because I just want to leave you behind and I don't want to see you do good but when I see you trying to pull me down and hold me down because you don't want to grow and because you don't want to see me do better than you and I cannot have you around me I'm not going to surround myself with people who don't want the best for me the second thing that I had to learn y'all was to relax relax I'm a creative person I have a lot of talents and a lot of gifts and I always want to put those into use I'm like I gotta get to the bag let me try this let me do this let me do this but it's like girl you are 19 years old slow down I have all my life to live God willing all I was doing was stressing myself out some things that you feel like you might need to do just to get everything together like I was doing YouTube I was creating a course which is linked down in my bio if you want to know how to edit your videos <laughs> I was doing so many things and so many passions that I want to do in my life trying to build my foundation right now when I really don't even know what I'm doing pick one thing that you really love to do pick one thing that you can really focus all your time and energy on and stick to that because when you're trying to spread yourself thin and trying to do this and you're trying to do that while doing the main thing when you're doing too much at one time you're just going to be stressed and you're going to be anxious and you'll never have any energy you'll always be drained we have to slow down and i know that's kind of ironic to say with society being like oh you gotta get it you gotta get it with prices going up and everything you just trying to figure out your way in life because apparently you know like the world wanted to crash when we decided to be adults and everything when we don't slow down we don't even produce our best work because when I was doing YouTube and focusing on several other different things my videos are trash I was just getting them out here to say that I was doing it and I didn't see no results from that but when we sit down and we really focus on that one thing that we really love to do then the fruits will come from that and then we can try to do everything else sometimes the thing that you think that you're supposed to be doing right now may be for another season there was something I wanted to do was a business idea and I was like you know what it's actually not the time and I can come back to this at a later date it's nothing wrong with that and as heartbreaking as it is that's just what it is and that's okay learn to slow down girl we're 19 20 21 on this channel like girl we got 
all the time in the world. Now, I'm not saying to be lazy and to procrastinate because, girl, I'm trying to work on that too. But at least every day, do the best that we can with what we have to better ourselves for the next day to come, you know? Number three, never sacrifice your purpose for love. On the internet, we see these cases of these girls and these women being at the peak of their career or just getting started and then a man comes along and then you know the rest. <laughs> Don't sacrifice your purpose and what you do and your image for love. And it doesn't have to even be romantically, but it can be platonic and familial love as well. I had someone that I grew up with. We've been close for a very long time, but they wanted me to sacrifice my purpose for their validation and for their love. They thought that I was the type of person that really thrived off of validation and needing people to like me, but that's not really who I am. I don't need anybody to like me. I don't need anybody to love me because as long as I'm loving myself and as long as God loves me, I don't need anybody. I'm the type of person I'm so giving, I'm so loving. I wanna help everybody. I wanna bring everybody along with me, but you can't do that especially when you're not where you want to be in life you cannot always give to people because people will take advantage of you because instead of chasing your dream pouring all your energy and time into the things that you love you're taking that and pouring it into people who don't even love you like that respect you like that and then when they're done draining you of everything that you have you're stuck looking like okay so what do i do now who am i you're trying to pick up the pieces of what it is that you're trying to do and they left you in the dust you cannot sacrifice what it is that you are called and meant to do on this earth for somebody else's love and validation. I promise you, being alone is a lot better than being around people who just want you to do stuff for their approval. God will eventually send the right types of people and people who align with you into your life when the time is right. The next thing I learned was everything that I need to succeed is in me. Not on me, not around me, but in me. When I first started doing YouTube, I'm thinking, oh, nobody likes my videos. Nobody commenting nobody's liking and I was tying that to my self-worth and to the value of my videos I can make the most perfect video in my eyes and it'll get no views no likes but that doesn't mean that it was not a bad video everything I need to succeed is within me I kind of touched on this in my things that I was grateful for video I'm thankful for my voice I'm thankful for my wisdom I'm thankful for my experiences I'm thankful for all of those things that make me who I am today because it allows me to be able to do this I don't need to get a fancy camera a fancy tripod fancy ring light look down dressed to the nines every time I make a video I'm filming a video on probably like a $20 tripod and an iPhone 12 with some Apple headphones that came with a phone and I'm making it work until I can get to a position where I can invest more into myself but for right now I don't need nothing else me and God is all that I need to make my dreams work God has blessed me with everything that I need to do in order to have this platform in order to do what it is that I want to do and he's also blessed me with so many ideas and things that I want to do in the future it doesn't stop right here this is Barely the beginning, barely scratching the surface for me. But you have to believe that you can do what it is that you want to do with whatever you have right now. Whatever your God-given talents and dreams are, that is what will make you successful. Being a good person, being what God has made you to be, being the best person that you can be every single day is what will make you succeed. And even though I have not succeeded yet, well, I am succeeding because there was a day where I was starting at zero. I had zero subscribers and now I'm at like 620. Even though I'm not successful in other people's eyes, that doesn't mean I'm not making any progress. I see what I'm doing as successful because if I was still at zero, maybe it wasn't successful maybe this wasn't for me but the fact that I'm seeing progress lets me know that I just have to keep believing in myself I have to keep using what God has given me in order for me to keep making it to the next level and that's all that you have to do you don't need nobody to tell you that you're doing a great job you don't need to look perfect all the time you don't need to act perfect you just need to be yourself and I promise you one day we will be the greatest and I'm gonna leave this video on my channel for living proof today I'll have 620 subscribers maybe one day in the future I'm gonna have a thousand five thousand ten thousand and this video right here will be proof. Just keep believing in yourself. You don't need nobody to tell you nothing. 
You don't need validation. All you need is you and God and what he has given you. And use that to your advantage. The next thing I learned is to pick my battles. Everything does not require a response. Sometimes when I am outgrowing people, but we don't really have any problems, you know, I don't mind giving people a conversation. When people are trying to get a reaction out of me and make me argue with them, those are the people that I don't need to argue with because those people thrive off of that negative energy. You don't have to argue with people. You don't have to fight with people. Just pick your battles. People who constantly want your attention, people who constantly want to try to bring you down, people who always throw shade at you and stuff, those are the people you need to ignore. People that you actually care about, people that you actually want to fix things with, those are the people that you need to have these conversations with. These other people, they don't need a conversation because they're not here to really listen to you or solve the issue because whatever the issue is, that has nothing to do with me and all to do with them. People with nothing to lose, people who are always hating, people who are always trying to bring people down, they don't deserve my attention. The next thing I learned was to have the hard conversations. It's ultimately led me to feel more free and at peace because sometimes when we don't communicate things with people not only will they not know but you will be stuck harboring whatever feelings you have towards these certain people because you just won't communicate sometimes we have to do what's best for us and sometimes we have to let people know that because there's a lot of people in our lives that feel like they can control what we do people who feel like we have to live up to a certain standard or expectation that they feel like we should be living up to just because that's the normal thing to do no we don't have to do any of that it's not nothing wrong with letting people know that about you as well. You're not me and I'm not you. You don't have to live my life and I'm me and I'm going to do what I feel like is best for me. And I'm also going to do what I feel like God has told me to do as well because there's nobody else that I really need to be listening to other than him because he is not going to lead me wrong. Even in those times where you feel weary and you feel like you don't know what you're doing, you feel confused, you feel lost or whatever, all you have to do is talk to him. I'm not going to keep listening to everybody else that feels like I should be doing a certain thing or I should be living a certain way. No. I lived like that for a very, very long time, wanting to please people, not wanting to disappoint people. And the thing is, there's been a lot of people who have disappointed me. There's been a lot of people who have done things that I don't agree with, but I never judged them and I never told them what to do. So who are they to tell me what to do? Sometimes you have to let people know what it is that they're doing wrong and you have to let people know what you're going to do with yourself. Stop being afraid to set those boundaries with people. If you don't like something, let people know that. No matter how how hard it is if they respect you and love you enough they care about you enough I promise you they will respect that boundary and they won't cross that line again it's only those people who continuously do the same things that don't love and care about you and you know what you do with those types of people you let them go and where I'm at right now is I don't want anybody who doesn't do those simple three things I don't want them around me if you can't love me respect me or care about me in the way that I feel like I need to be respected and cared about then baby you can kick rocks and I'm not saying that people are perfect and people won't make mistakes, but I promise you, if you do not set boundaries with people, if you don't let people know, if you don't put your foot down and stop trying to not disappoint people and be a people pleaser and stuff like that, I promise you, you will be unfulfilled and you will live a life that you will never want to live. I did that for so long. And I'm finally to a point where I'm not doing that no more. I'm living for me. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing what feels best for me and I'm gonna let you know that and however you feel about it you can feel about it because it's not your life however you feel about my boundary because you kept disrespecting me is how you feel about it because I don't want to feel uncomfortable in my own body and continuously betray myself I'm not going to do that I'm sorry I'm not going to do it <laughs> I'm not going to do it this has helped me build my self-worth and understand that I am worthy of everything that I want to do in my life I am worthy and deserving of everything that I want I have been nothing but kind a good person I've never stepped on anybody's toes I've been that meek quiet chill kid that doesn't say too much I've been there for too long because that wasn't even really me that's just who society and people and my family and stuff that wanted me to be but that's not me and I'm done pretending when you find out your worth you will be done pretending finding out my self-worth this year has helped me get rid of so much baggage so many people places and things that do not serve me and I can and I tell you, I have not been more at peace than I am right now. I have to find stuff that fulfills me. Anything that I put my mind to and that I want to do, I deserve that. Especially because I know that I'm a good person. And good people deserve everything in this life. I be getting too 
fired up, y'all. But I mean that. I mean it with everything in me. You deserve everything. And you can do whatever you want to do in this life. And don't let people tell you otherwise. Build that confidence within yourself. Build that self-worth. Show yourself that you love yourself. Choose yourself every time. I don't care who, what, when, where, how, why, or whatever comes up against you. Be yourself. Learn yourself. Stand on it. Express yourself. Be who you are. That makes me think of that one TikTok. Be who you are for your pride. <laughs> That's all that I have to say for this video. I'm not upset. I just get real passionate about these things because when you have so much experience living through these things, that passion just comes out. And that's a good way to transmute all of that negative energy and all of those past experiences is to put it into something that you love because that's positive. But that's it for this video. If you liked it and found any value from it, please leave a like on it. Cause when you leave a like, it helps to get out to more people and leave a comment down below because why not? It's Christmas. It's the giving season and i will see y'all in my next video